Springs and Mount Installation and Removal video. There are certain scenarios when you would need to remove the scope body from the externally adjusting mounts, such as adjusting the friction screw on the mounts or removing the return spring. In this video, we'll go over how to uninstall the mounts and recoil spring from the scope main tube. We recommend that you have a clear workspace with a flat surface to work on. To prevent anything from falling off the scope, we recommend that you keep the scope in a vertical orientation with the objective lens facing down towards the table. First, you need to remove the eyepiece. Then, you need to remove the EP lock ring. Next, back out the number two Phillips screwdriver and back out the reticle frame locking screws. Please note, once the reticle frame screws have been removed, the reticle will not be fastened to the scope tube. The reticle will fall out if you tip the scope over. The reticle is also very fragile. Touching it will likely break the crosswire. After removing the reticle frame screw, slide off the rear mount. Remove the rear lock ring. Remove the return spring. Remove the front mount if necessary. Remove the front lock ring. To reinstall the mounts, complete the steps in reverse order. If you found this video useful, be sure to hit that like button and comment below on what other videos you would like to see.